Well, good morning, mighty praying army of the Lord Most High. So excited to be here with you this morning. Um, I did want to express um, uh, just an apology to everyone who who was online, joining us online, who was having a lot of difficulty with the links last night. Um, I think we've remedied that, corrected the problem. So I pray you're able to click on the links for each of our um, times of prayer during the day. And then the other thing is, is we're here at Calvary Chapel, Knoxville in Knoxville, Tennessee. We're on the East Coast and we're meeting at 9 a.m., noon, and 6 p.m. So for those of you who are joining us live at Calvary Chapel Chino Hills on the West Coast in California, you're meeting three hours earlier. So um, just to let you know, there's a difference in the time frames there. And thank you all who, who do send the emails and let me know the things that aren't working in the emails. And um, for those of you who are not still not receiving the devotionals that you should be getting in the morning if you've signed up, um, I would like you to check your, your spam folders. Sometimes they drop there, um, and sometimes they just bounce out because of the internet. But you can just let, keep letting me know. We're trying to get through each one of those and make sure everybody gets their spiritual food every morning as we do this journey. And that's essential to the journey that we're on, is getting that uh, spiritual food that we get from the Word of God each and every day. Um, really, that ignites with our prayers. So um, let me open with prayer, and then we'll dive into what we're going to be doing this morning in this early hour. Um, so Heavenly Father, we just enter your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise, Lord. We are so thankful to you, and we just bless your name, for Lord, you are good, and your mercy is everlasting. Lord, your truth endures to all generations. And Father, I just ask right now, let you let my teaching just drop as rain and my speech distill as the dew, as raindrops on the tender herb and as showers on the grass. For Lord, I proclaim your name. You are Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts. And we just ascribe greatness to you, Lord, today. Be glorified in the praises of your people, I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And just a quick um, uh, opening for those of you who don't know me, I've had a few people asking who, who is that person. My name is Tracy Alexander, and I have a ministry called Trumpet and Torch Ministries. It's really a prayer and fasting ministry that focuses on intimacy with the Lord, because that's his highest priority for our lives. And many of you maybe have heard Pastor Jack announce, um, both myself and my husband, we have known Pastor Jack and Lisa for almost 33, 34 years now. We attended their church in the very early years of our marriage when my husband was stationed in California in the Marine Corps. And uh, then the Lord brought us to Virginia to come back to the beginning of our nation and to pray. And we're there as intercessors, interceding for the church and for this nation. And over the course of the last 16 years, we have joined with Calvary Chapel Chino Hills uh, to lead these seasons of prayer and fasting. The last was in 2016. If you remember, we did 40 days. And tonight I'll talk more about it. But during that season, there was one name that we were not able to finish. And that's the name we're standing on for these 21 days. Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts. And during our sessions, we, we're going to meet morning, noon, and night. This first session is going to be all about adoration. And it's a really difficult thing for a lot of people to do because um, often we go in and we just immediately run in with our petitions to the Lord and we just lay them on the altar and we run out and go about our day. So we're going to learn to just marinate <laughs> in the praises of our king and just sit in his presence and worship him in the beauty of holiness and lift up our words of adoration to our Lord. And so that's what uh, this morning is going to be about. And each day, that's how we're going to begin our days is just in worship. No petition. petition. We're not going to ask him for anything. We are just going to adore our Lord because he's worthy. He's worthy. And we want to love him and, and give him back that love that he pours into our lives. You know, we come into his presence with love and adoration for who he is. And um, today, as in, if you got the email this morning, we saw Jehovah uh, Sabaoth as the Lord of hosts, the Lord who is the commander of the armies of heaven. And it's from the story of Joshua. 
uh, Joshua chapter 5. Um, in it, um, we see that Joshua was heading to do battle at Jericho in um, that chapter, chapter 5. And he arrives um, at the viewing of Jericho, and he's walking around and trying to figure out what his strategy is going to be to overtake this massive looming nation, this wall. And who is he confronted by? None other than the commander of the armies of the Lord. And really, that's just a beautiful picture of no matter what battles we're facing, we have one who's already gone ahead of us, who's already waiting for us right there. And he's there to lead us in and to give us victory. And so that's who we're going to be lifting up and adoring today, the one who fights our battles for us. And the truth is, you know, as, as a body, as a church, I think, you know, and we hear this over, over many generations, that we've lost that sense of worship, that sense of awe, and that sense of re reverence for our Lord, uh, the loss of the sense of his holiness and his majesty. And that's really what this first hour is going to be about, is, is really kind of getting back to that place getting a fresh glimpse of his glory and majesty so we can worship him reverently as we should. Um, and, and I really think the Lord in these 21 days just wants to break the heart of his church open again. I mean, we really need to have our hearts broken. I mean, we're broken by so many other things in this world, so many disappointments and, and, and challenges that we're going through. But really, the Lord wants our hearts to break for him. And I think if we can get to that place as a church, as a body, uh, before the Lord, and weep and mourn in love for our Lord and desire to see his heart's desire poured out upon the earth, I think we're going to see something amazing happen. But we're not going to get there if we don't take time to just sit in his presence and worship him in the beauty of majesty. We need to seek his presence above all things. Um, and so today we're just going to gaze upon his beauty and worship him in his majesty. And, you know, he has to first win the battle of our hearts. Once he stoked that fire, first love's fire in us when, when we first came to Christ, um, he wants that fire to, to be inflamed continually with passion and desire. And unfortunately, life comes at us and we get busy and we get distracted and that fire begins to dwindle. But this is the season he's stoking that fire again for us. And so that's what we're going to uh, really focus on each of these morning hours. So I just want us to really, we're going to just spend all of our time this morning doing that, uh, just worshiping the Lord. So I'm going to encourage you, for those of you who are joining us at Calvary Chapel Chino Hills as well, um, have your Bibles. There's wonderful verses of scripture in here, especially throughout the Psalms of praise and adoration. And that's what we want to be using. This is our weapon of warfare, this, this, the sword, our word, and we want to be using that. And I just want to encourage you um, in this time to stand up and, and pray out the word, pray out the praises. Um, we're here to fill the atmosphere with the praises, right, of our King. And so don't be silent, you know, in Chino Hills where you're at. Stand up, even as we're doing it. We want, I mean, even if all of, we're all praying at the same time, it's okay. The Lord inhabits the praises of his people. And so we want to be doing that. And I'm going to start with just um, washing us in a lot of praise scriptures. And then I want to encourage you um, here, if you want to come up, you can come up and kneel with me and the mic will be there if you want to pray out so others can hear your prayers. Um, and that's a wonderful thing when we can do that, especially when we're praying the scripture because the, the, the word of God is eternal, right? <laughs> he says his word will go forth to accomplish what he purposed. It won't return void. And so anytime we're speaking the word, we're speaking eternal word of God and it's going to go out into the world, to the atmosphere, and it's going to accomplish his purposes. And we want everyone who's listening to hear the word of God. So I just want to encourage you, if you can, come up. If you can't kneel, you can pick up the mic and sit in a chair and just pray um, the scriptures. And, um, and then later today, after our time together, 
again, we're receiving so many prayer requests, and I have some of them here on the floor. And if you have time before you go out for the day to just come up and pray, we want these prayers just prayed over and over during these seasons. We want to feel the presence of God and his healing and restorative and reconciling and saving and delivering power in their lives in this season because that's what he wants to do for his church and then that so that what erupts out of all of us is this spirit of praise because he's so good and he loves us and he cares so deeply for us so I want to thank all of you who are here today this morning and 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 on the west coast it's very early that uh, you're there doing the same thing and wherever else you are. I know there's a lot of people joining us uh, from other parts of the country. Um, I just want to thank you that you're uniting your voices and your hearts with ours in this united concert of praise uh, just to glorify um, our, our Lord and Savior. We just want to lift up his glorious name. So let's just go before him and uh, fill this place with his praises. And again, don't be, um, you know, disturbed by silence. It's good to sit in the silence. And, and I'll say it over and over. I encourage you as you're hearing the word and you're being washed in the word and as you're praying the word um, and you're hearing God speak to your heart, you know, have, have your Bible open, have your pen and paper open and just write what you're hearing him speak to your heart. The Lord has a word for all of us. You need to hear that from him. So he's tuning our heartstrings to hear him in this season. He's drawing us closer to himself. Um, he has something very special to speak to each one of us. And so I just encourage you to do that. What you're hearing, write it down, record it and, and, and hear him speaking his love song over your life. So let's, let's go before the Lord um, and, and pray and praise his name. Heavenly Father, Lord, our hearts are so full of love for you. Lord, there's, there's hardly any words. Lord, to speak, Lord, what is on our hearts for what you're doing in this season, Lord. And for some of us, we can't even wrap our minds around it, God, but we just want to say thank you. God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and give praises even with my glory, awake, lute, and harp. I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, O Lord, among the peoples, and I will sing praises to you among the nations. Lord, because your mercy is great above the heavens, and your truth reaches to the clouds, be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory above all the earth. O give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him. Sing psalms to him. Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face evermore. The Lord reigns. Let the peoples tremble. He dwells between the cherubim. Let the earth be moved. The Lord is great in Zion, and he is high above all the peoples. Let them praise your great and awesome name, for you are holy, O Lord. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gained him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation, his righteousness he has revealed in the sight of the nations. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can declare all his praise? Blessed are those who keep justice and he who does righteousness at all times. Not to us, O oh Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory because of your mercy, because of your truth. 
I will extol you, my God, O King. I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, for his greatness is unsearchable. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above the earth and heaven, and he has exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, of the children of Israel, a people near to him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Laud him, all you peoples, for his merciful kindness is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, O you servants of the Lord, you who stand in the house of the Lord, at the courts of the house of our God. Praise him, for the Lord is good. Sing praises to his name. For it is pleasant. Come and sing the praises of our Lord. You are mighty God. You are worthy of our praise. We come before you and adore your marvelous and majestic name. Give unto the Lord, O you mighty ones. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness.
Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his loving mercy endures forever. Who can express the mighty acts of the Lord or fully declare his praise? Whoever is wise will consider the loving kindness of the Lord. The Lord lives. Blessed be my rock. Let the God of my salvation be exalted. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the lute and the harp. Praise him with the trimble and the dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and flutes. Praise him with loud cymbals. Praise him with clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. O oh Lord God Almighty. You are the creator of heaven and earth. We are nothing but dust, God, the work of your hands. You could blow us away at any moment, God, but you are long-suffering. You desire to pardon, God. You are merciful and gracious, oh God. We praise you, Lord God Almighty, because you are God. You, Lord, are the sustainer of our lives, you're our provider, our deliverer, our help in a time of trouble, God. May we bow before you, Lord, because of who you are. You are God. We are not. We love you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and raises up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have no understanding. He reveals deep and secret things. And what is hidden in the darkness and light dwells with him. 
I thank you and praise you, O God of my fathers. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, the God of my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge, my Savior. You save me from violence. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Lord, I will give thanks to you. O Lord, among the Gentiles, I will sing praises to your name. You are a tower of salvation. You show mercy to your anointed. Lord, we praise your glorious and wonderful and marvelous name. Lord, I pray today you delight in the praises of your people, God. Stir your hearts, Lord. Stir the hearts of your people, Lord, to adore you. God, open their eyes to see you in the beauty of majesty, Lord. To see your holiness. God, your name is like ointment poured forth. No wonder the maidens love you. Lord, we delight in your name. This name, the Lord of hosts, for it is power, it is might, it is salvation, it is deliverance. Lord, you are all that we need. Whom else can we desire in all the earth, Lord? You are our all in all. God, we just want to lay our head on your chest like, like John did, just to feel your heartbeat right now. God, I pray that for whoever's out there burdened, Lord. We feel your heartbeat, God. And you are so glorious in your love towards us. Your heartbeat is so strong toward us, Lord. Lord, the love that you have for your people, God, stir us to deepening love for you. To love you with that strong love that you love us, Lord. We praise your glorious name, Lord Jesus. Give unto the Lord, you mighty ones. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Today we worship you in the beauty of holiness. You are worthy of all our praise. All your works shall praise you, O Lord, and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord upholds all who fall and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look expectantly to you and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, gracious in all his works. 
The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of those who fear him. He also will hear their cry and save them. The Lord preserves all who love him. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord, and all the flesh shall bless his holy name forever and ever. Sing to the Lord a new song, and his praise from the ends of the earth. Let them give glory to the Lord and declare his praise in the coastlands. The Lord shall go forth like a mighty man of war. He shall cry out, yes, shout aloud, and he shall prevail against his enemies. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise in the city of our God, his holy mountain. Within your temple, O God, we meditate on your unfailing love. Like your name, O God, your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. Lord, we praise your glorious name.
Praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant and praise is beautiful. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers together the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He counts the number of the stars. He calls them all by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding is infinite. The Lord lifts up the humble. He casts the wicked down to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praises on the harp to our God who covers the heavens with clouds, who prepares rain for the earth, who makes grass to grow on the mountains. He gives the beast its food and the young ravens that cry. He does not delight in the strength of a horse. He takes no pleasure in the legs of man. The Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those who hope in his mercy. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. He makes peace in your borders and he fills you with the finest wheat. O God, we love you. We praise you, O God. Be exalted now, Lord Jesus. Take root, God, in our lives. Be on the throne, God, of our hearts and our minds, Lord Jesus. May all that we are be captivated by you, Lord God. Be exalted, God. Be magnified and lifted high. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth, I will make known your faithfulness to all generations. For I have said, mercy shall be built up forever. Your faithfulness you shall establish in the heavens. Lord, you've been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth or ever you formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Lord, we worship you. We adore you. Lord, hear the praises of your people, Lord. Hear it deep within our hearts, God. Let the fruit of our lips be praise unto you, Lord. In Jesus' name.
Blessed be the Lord of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. And he has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Lord, to perform the mercies promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham to grant us that we, be doing, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the highest, for you will go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people and the remission of their sins through the tender mercy of our God, through which the day spring from on high has visited us to give light to those who sit in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. O oh Lord, you are the commander of the armies of heaven. You are Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts. Lord, you stand there, Lord, at the front of our battles and God to guide us into the path of peace. Lord, we praise you, Lord, that you have looked upon us with favor, that you have brought us out of darkness into wonderful light so that we can declare the praises of you, Lord. Lord, I pray, break through the hearts of your people, Lord. Let us pour forth your praise. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. We give glory to your holy name.
praise the Lord. For it is good to sing praises to our good God. For it is pleasant and praise is beautiful. The Lord heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He counts the number of the stars. He calls them by name. Great is the Lord and mighty in power. His understanding is infinite. And Lord, that's what you're doing in this season. You're binding up the wounds of the brokenhearted God. You're doing a mighty and powerful work that we can't even see. But you've gone before us, Lord, and we praise you, Lord, that you're leading us there each and every step of this journey, these 21 days, to show us the greatness of your love, your tender mercies toward us, Lord. Stir our hearts, Lord, to deepening love and abide in intimacy with you, Lord. Lord, so that our mouths will pour forth your praise. We praise your glorious and wonderful name. Sing to the Lord a new song and his praise from the ends of the earth. Let them give glory to the Lord and declare his praise in the coastlands. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song and his praise in the assembly of the saints. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the humble with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Proclaim the good news of his salvation day by day. Declare his glory among the nations. For you, Lord, are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they were created and it exist. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor, and glory, and blessing. Blessing, and honor, and glory, and power be to him who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb forever and ever. Lord, we praise your holy name. We just say, holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, who was, and is, and is to come, we magnify your holy and majestic name. Lord, inhabit the praises of your people. Let all the peoples praise you, God. We pray all the hearts of your people will praise you. Lord, we thank you for this precious time in your presence, Lord, to begin our day with our eyes fixed firmly upon your glorious face. Lord, we praise you for the gift of your presence, Lord. That we get to sit and bask in the beauty of holiness. That you give us this hour, Lord, to come into your presence, Lord. And Lord, where we can sit where there's all light and all power and go out dripping with light and bringing that light to others. And I just pray right now, Lord Jesus, we go out. Let the mountains and the hills clap before us. Or as we go out shining your light and singing your praise and bringing glory and honor to your worthy and holy name. For it's in your name, Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Blessings to all of you. I look forward to seeing you at the noon hour um, while we continue our journey. And then this evening at six o'clock. And again, that's Eastern Standard Time for those who are listening online. And I just encourage you to continue your day in praise, to spend that time meditating upon his wonderful name and just walking in his power and his light and, and sharing that joy with everyone you meet. And I'm excited for what he has for us in the days ahead. Uh, continue to please just send forth your prayer requests. Um, we're going to spend our time here praying for everyone. 
And um, I just know we're praying for you. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day.